Hi everybody, Chef Mike Benninger here. Today I'm going to step you through doing one of my personal favorites in a bistro classic, duck confit. Doesn't take anything special, just a slow cooker, a little bit of time, and a little bit of patience. First thing you have to do to make duck confit is to cure the duck. Curing really helps the duck keep for a couple of days longer if you're not going to eat it right away. And it's an old school way of doing it. I think it adds good flavor, that's why I do it. And it's super easy. All it really is is some fresh herbs, usually rosemary, thyme, garlic, maybe some shallots if you want, and lots and lots of salt and pepper. You want to rub the legs down really aggressively, a lot more than you might think necessary. At least one tablespoon per duck leg. But don't worry about that much salt, because you're going to rinse most of it off anyway, and since salt is not fat soluble, it's going to actually be removed during the cooking process for the most part. Once it's done, all the legs are covered like that with lots of salt and pepper and herbs and garlic. You want to cover it up, stick it in a fridge somewhere for at least overnight, preferably 24 to 48 hours. I wouldn't go much more than 24, but that's just me. This is mine in my downstairs fridge right now. and You can see that little bottle of duck fat behind it from a few previous batches. Once your duck is cured at least overnight and up to 48 hours, you need to rinse off the extra cure. Rinsing it off, make sure you get rid of all the extra salt and pepper and twigs and garlic cloves and that you used to cure it with in the first place. You also want to rinse out the vessel that you actually stored it in, which was your crock pot liner. I like to cook mine in layers. That way I can get the maximum amount of duck legs into the crock pot. It also minimizes the amount of extra fat that you have to add. Remember downstairs that picture you saw of my extra fat? This is where it comes into play. I've accumulated this over several different batches of duck. What I like to add to my crock pot when I'm cooking is lots of extra shallots and lots of extra fresh thyme, as well as a wheel of garlic that's been chopped up. I think it adds really good flavor during the cooking process. The cooking process in this case is going to be about eight and a half or nine hours on low. That's somewhere around 180, 185. If you find your crock pot's getting a bit too hot, switch it to low or just unplug it for an hour. Once that's done and you've got eight or nine hours of cooking in, you want to actually let it sit in the oil for at least two or three more hours to cool off. My preferred way to finish off duck confit is under the broiler. I use an oven proof dish about 10 inches away from the element with the broiler set to low. This gives me maximum control. It takes a bit longer than a frying pan or on high, but I think it actually gives you a better result. It renders off more of the fat and it gives you a little larger window of failure in case something goes a bit wrong with your broiler. You want it to be nice and crispy, a lovely even mahogany color all the way across, but please be careful because it's very easy to burn at this stage and that would ruin all of your hard work. Duck confit is a very versatile main course and lends itself to a wide range of side dishes including potatoes, lentils, rice, or my personal favorite, garlic mash. This is Chef Mike Benninger. If you have any questions, please see our website at www.chefmike.ca.